Hey guys, we are back. This is episode four of my Out of the Park Baseball 25 playthrough with San Francisco Giants. It's the beginning of season two. Uh, we lost in game seven of the World Series last year. Um, we had a much better season than what I had anticipated. I'll take it. Uh, and now we just have to... Uh, uh, we have to do that again with a uh, bit of a different look roster here as, as I think we went a little younger and, and I've used the term uh, athletic here a little bit more. And I think that's what we did um, during the off season. It wasn't a super busy off season. Uh, the big fish obviously was Vlad. We picked up Vlad Guerrero uh, and then signed him to a four year, $108 million extension. We have plenty of money to spend. I think this is, well spent given the lack of potential offensive weapons coming up in uh, in free agency this year. We might be able to trade for somebody, but just from a, a strictly an offensive perspective in free agency, there's just not much here. Uh, Bo Bichette might not be a bad ad. Um, maybe. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we didn't do much from a free agent perspective. We picked up, like I said, we picked up Vlad. We traded for Vlad. Uh, free agency, we only added really a couple of players. We added Matthew Boyd and Kenley Jansen, Colby Aird, and um, I think that was it uh, from a free agent perspective. Uh, I don't think we did anything free agents in, uh, in free agency offensively. No, it's it's going to be internal. It's, we're going to be going pretty internal. Our, our offense is going to look a little different this year. We're going to have less power. I think we're going to have more speed, more defense, uh, and and hope that that um, uh, kind of makes the difference for us. So, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and set the lineups. We're gonna kind of quote unquote play opening day, and then I'll I'll sim um, I'll sim uh, April, and then I'll come back and we'll do May together. So that's kind of how I think this is gonna run. So we got to set our roster. We are at thirty seven. We have 18 pitchers. We got a couple of injured. He's out for two days. He's out for five days. So I don't really need to do anything with either of those. Uh, we have to send five pitchers to the minors. Wizenhunt can go. We've got a lot of pitchers on our team. Um, Are we going to have to trade some people? I mean, Spencer Howard deserves to be in the majors with those ratings. He's 28. <laughs> Do we sign Kenley Jansen and then just wave him? I think that might be the plan here. Does anybody want him? <laughs> we can get the corpse of Jose Barrios for the next four seasons. What if I go good drum? No. What if I retain? I mean, I don't really care. We don't really need the money this year. And if we retain, we can get, uh, I don't really need another relief pitcher. That sort of defeats the whole purpose here, right? Um, Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe we just eat it and we got the fan interest bump from it. We'll probably take the same bump the other direction for cutting him, but I don't know. I mean, 55-50-55. I mean, Davovich will be back. He wasn't particularly good last year, so let's start with him in AAA. Uh, Taylor and Tyler. We still set three pitchers down to the minors. Um, and it's going to be more once we get uh win back from, from injury. Because right now, this is our starting rotation. Webb, Harrison, Ray, Black, and Boyd. Um, so we're heavy on lefties. I think Ethan Small. <laughs> we still got to send two to the minors, huh? 
50 fun. He's a starter, so it's not going to be him. Slider, sinker, cutter. Hate to do this. I can't even do it. Um, shoot. Okay, so we're talking uh, waving somebody if I can't make this work. 60, 50, 50. It's, all right, somebody, somebody trade him to me for... Yeah, I don't want to take on the contract. All right, well, and then just designate, I guess. And then we still have to send another one down, and it's going to be two more down once we get uh, once we get um, uh, once we get uh, Keaton Win back. I mean, Aird wasn't particularly good. All these guys have to clear waivers, every one of them. Um, he's the one making 12, right? Does anybody want Taylor Rogers? Let's sim ahead a day. Oh, I had to sign a minor league manager. Let's see what we get. What if I retain 50? Again, the corpse of Jose Barrios. All right, what about 12? I mean, we might... I don't want to just DFA a $12 million a year pitcher, but this just isn't worth it. Like, why would I pick up a pitcher on a worse contract? Um, it's Pookie, Black, Boyd, Garrett. I, I hate DFAing... Spencer Howard. I mean, maybe the answer is I, I don't want to do this either. Maybe that's the answer for now. And we do something like that for the time being. I mean, it's going to be an issue again in two weeks when we get Keaton Wynn back. But for now, I think that's probably the right solution. Let Mason Black get the start in in uh, in AAA and call him back up in a bit. All right, so we're at thirty two. We got to get to twenty six. Uh, Joey Bart, uh, Fitzgerald, VR, Ortega, McCray can all go to the minors. Does that leave us at twenty six? Twenty seven. So we still got to send somebody down. I don't want to send Otto Lopez down. He was really good last year. Could play all over the field. McKinstry is okay against righties. Lopez is better against lefties. I mean, that's a pretty nice combination there. I think it's Helio Ramos. Send him to AAA. Yeah. All right. So that is our lineup. Those are our batters. Um, batting ratings. Uh, our leadoff man will be Wade Meckler with that 60 I and 60, uh, 60 avoid K. See the left fielder? 55, 60, 45. Yeah, probably. And then we go Jung Hoo Lee and Alec Thomas against righties with Matos as the backup. So that'll be our number three hitter at DH. Jung Hoo Lee is our center fielder. Luciano is our cleanup hitter. Yeah, I mean, power is going to be an issue this year. Maybe we do this. That Luciano third and put Vlad behind him is that protection. Yeah, I mean, he's not particularly good against, against righties, so maybe there's a better option there. Alec Thomas, 55 contact, 50 gap, 40 power. Yeah, I mean, he's not much better either. Um, Velasquez, again, not... I mean, he's got 
some pop though. So I think we do this, do something like that. We'll bat Luciano six. Then we can put a lefty in there to sort of split things up a bit. Alec Thomas out there and right. Uh, let's do it like this so we can see we need catcher, second base, and shortstop. Um, so... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Catcher, it's Bailey. Stick with Estrada at second. And then Nick Ahmed at short. Uh... Lopez is our backup second baseman every third game. Matos is the backup outfielder. Uh, so we'll go every fourth game, every seventh game, every third game, and then every, I don't know, 12th game or something. So that gets him into four games a week as a, as a righty. We'll take that lineup, we'll copy it. We will paste it over here, and now we will uh, go Matos for Nelson because Meckler can still hit lefties, right? Not nearly as good, but yes. Um, is Matos our leadoff hitter against lefties? 65 contact, 50 I. I think Matos is our leadoff hitter against lefties. Uh, what other changes do we want to make? Otto Lopez... As Estrada against Estrada's much better against lefties, so we'll do that. Um, and then Alec Thomas is our backup outfielder. Start him every fourth game there, every seventh game there, and Otto Lopez will be the backup DH every tenth game or something. Again, at second, every fourth game. So I think, I mean, I don't I don't know what this offense is going to look like. Um, I feel like it might be worse. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, so we should play 500 ball. We have no prospects in the top 10. How is our prospect pool? Where is Sam? Right there, 17th. We've got Bolivar, who was uh, our international signing in in uh, January, we've got Luciano, who's 30th, and then we've got Meckler, who's 100. So these guys are going to fall off soon, and we're going to have one in the top 100, which isn't great, but what are you going to do? Preseason predictions has us in last place. Wow. Okay. They are not confident about our ability this season, so this might be uh, might be interesting. I feel like we're going to be okay. I feel like there's a lot of – I think this is a good opportunity for – with with Meckler and Jung Hoo Lee in the one two spot, I get the I, I feel like this is an opportunity for Vlad to drive in a ton of runs, and then with Webb, Harrison, and Win at the top of our rotation, I'm pretty content with that. No, yeah, I'm pretty content. We'll just have to see how it goes, I guess. So we're gonna take it on Arizona. In our first game. Ooh, we've got Dylan Carlson now as well. Which means I have to send somebody to the minors, which means McKinstry. Anybody want him? I know we just picked him up in the offseason, but nobody wants Zach McKinstry. All right, we will just DFA him then. Forgot about Dylan Carlson. Uh, injuries. And he's definitely going in the lineup against lefties for Meckler. 
Yeah, I mean, really, really solid ratings against lefties. Um, move him up there. Lopez at third every seventh game against righties. Lopez every seventh game. Yeah, Carlson's really good defensively. Um, I think we'll do that every seventh game and this every fifth game. So Carlson will start twice a week against righties. He'll start every game against lefties. Um, and then I guess we can make him our backup first baseman too. get him some playing time there. Cool. All right. So again, more athletic. I don't know if that, if that, uh, if that translates into more wins, but we will see. My guess is Jansen won't accept the demotion. He won't. So we will try one more time. I may just eat it. It's fine. Loriano wouldn't be a bad option if we didn't have 17 outfielders. So we're just going to go ahead and release him. And we didn't take a fan, uh, fan interest hit for it, so that's good. Is there anybody on waivers right now? Not anybody of, of note. Uh, McKinstry, Blake Sable. Oh, we lost him in the uh, Rule 5. Set up our minor league systems. Ortega is probably our first call-up in case of an injury. Uh, he'll be that backup middle infielder. And then we've got Beck, Birdsong, Black, Dabovich as relievers ready to come up. Grant McCray can be a replacement in the outfield if we suffer some injuries there. Joe Whitman, uh, Maui Ahuna, uh, Hartle is our first-round pick from last year. Doesn't look particularly good. Hopefully there's some development there. Yeah, I mean, it's not great. It's definitely not great. we got to hope that some of these international guys develop. I'm going to clear out some of the chaff, as they say. Yeah, I mean, hopefully some of these guys develop. Uh, all right, next game in Arizona. The Padres took both games from Colorado. All right, so we're going to play, or we're going to let the game play, whatever you want to call it. So we are going to, or, so we're at home. So it'll be Perdomo, Cattell Marte, Corbin Carroll, Jordan Lawler, Joey Gallo, now with Arizona, Wilmer Flores, Yoan Moncada, a new Diamondback, Lords Guriel Jr., Gabriel Moreno, and Zach Gallen getting the start. For Arizona and for us, it'll be Meckler, Lee, Guerrero, Velazquez, Thomas, Luciano, Bailey, Estrada, Ahmed with Logan Webb getting the start. Um, make sure everything is set the way I want it. It is. Let's get to the baseball. Ah, beautiful Oracle Park. 59 degrees, wind blowing in from center. Pretty par for the course for uh, for San Francisco. One up, one down. A couple of ground balls to the second baseman. And I do want to make sure that I have... Yeah, I got the AI doing it all. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure of. Now Corbin Carroll... Hits it out to center, and the catch is made out there. All right, so one, two, three inning for Logan Webb. Zach Gallon against Wade Meckler. And Meckler will lead off with a double. Lee with a liner to right. So that's a good start to our season. A double for Meckler, a single for Lee. We have runners at the corners for Vlad. And he bangs one out to center, and that's exactly why we picked him up. He brings home one and picks up a double. Jung-Hoo Lee with an RBI double, or excuse me, 
Vlad Guerrero with an RBI double, we're up one nothing. Now Velazquez, he crushes it to left center field. And Nelson Velazquez making me look like a genius with the 472-foot home run in the first inning to give us a 4 nothing lead. Yikes. Good start to this one for San Francisco. Alec Thomas bloops it to left. There's the first out of the game. Luciano, his big league debut, ends in a strikeout. And Patrick Bailey with a lineout to, uh, to second. That's okay. We scored four. Single, double, double, home run to start the game for us. Gallo strikes out, and Wilmer Flores, the former giant, grounds out to second, and Webb is six up, six down through two. Estrada pops out to the pitcher. Hang on just a minute, guys. All right, sorry about that. Uh, where are we? Uh, one out, bottom of the second. Nick Ahmed he draws a walk. Back to the top of the order, and Meckler. The double in his first at bat. Flies out to left here. Now Jung Hu Lee. Grounds out to third. Yohan Moncada against Logan Webb. Ground ball to Ahmed at short. And he throws out Moncada. Guriel Jr. Strikes out. And Gabriel Moreno. It's to the pitcher. So Webb, nine up, nine down here through three innings. Guerrero, RBI double his first time up. Bangs a single to center, so he's two for two. Velasquez strikes out this time. Alec Thomas grounds it to short. Fielder's choice. <clears throat> Luciano back to the pitcher. A third of the way through, we're up 4 nothing. Back to the top of the order. Perdomo. Hit by pitch. Now ground ball to the second baseman. And we're not able to turn two, but we get the lead runner. Ball gets away. Marte to second. Three and one now on Corbin Carroll. Draws a walk. Three and one on Jordan Lawler. Grounds it to first. And that's an E3, so the bases are now loaded for Joey Gallo. Grounds it to second. And we're not able to turn two, so they do get a run. There's a pop-up on the infield, I think, to the third baseman. And it's an E5. It's dropped over there. That's not good. Wilmer Flores, the tying run. Hits it to center. Back on it is Lee. He makes the catch, and we commit two errors, give up an unearned run, but we're still winning 4-1. to one. Bailey draws a leadoff walk. Strata to third, or to first, rather. Bailey down to second. Ahmed draws another walk. Meckler. Gets it out to center, and the catch is made up against the wall. Nice running catch. I like the change of camera angles there. Now Jung Hu Lee out to right. So we get two on with one out with the top of our order up, and we're not able to score, but that's okay. Two and two on Yoan Moncada. There's a strikeout. That is four strikeouts for Webb. One walk, no hit so far. Give him two walks. Gets it out to right. Catch is made. Two and two on. Oh, they bring in Spencer Howard. What? Has, did I? What? Ah! Uh, I forgot to change the pitch counts. Damn it. I forgot to change the pitch counts. All right. Well, hopefully our bullpen can uh, can finish this can finish this game for us. Velasquez grounds at the third. Webb 
four and two third inning no hitter, and I pulled him. All right, we're still up four nothing, four to one at going to the sixth. Darn it, Cattell Marte. Line drive to right, and there's the first hit of the game. If I lose this game, I'm going to be so mad at myself. Oh, come on. The first two batters reach here in the fifth, or in the sixth, rather. Grounds it to short. Fielder's choice. Jordan Lawler steals second. Gallo strikes out. Flores strikes out. All right. We're through five and a half. We're up four to one still. Marco Luciano. Grounds out to short. Patrick Bailey. Gets it out to center. Sliding catch out there. Corbin Carroll, really good out in center. Estrada strikes out. So now we go to the seventh. Ball up the middle, one away. Carrillo to short, two away. And Gabriel Moreno hits it to left. Another, it's what, two and a third shutout? Oh, there's another error. The third error of the game, okay? Luke Jackson comes in against Perdomo, gets him to ground to third. And we get out of the inning. We're not playing particularly well defensively, but we're hanging on. Ahmed leads off, grounds it to short. One away. Meckler reaches again. They bring in Luis Frias. Meckler tries to steal second, and he is dead to rights. Lead. We have one hit since the first inning, but we've made it hold up so far. Cattell Marte grounds it to third. One out. Taylor Rogers comes in lefty on lefty here. Fly ball to center and a diving catch out there by Jung Hoo Lee. Jordan Lawler now. That's hit by the pitch. Brings up Joey Gallo. Lefty versus lefty. Gallo grounds to first, and that will retire the side in the eighth. So we're probably going to see Camilo Doval in the ninth, I would imagine. Vlad Guerrero here. Two for three. Now three for four with an RBI in his Giants debut. Velazquez, the big hit, had a three-run homer in the first. Moves Guerrero to second. Here's Alec Thomas. Bangs it out to left center field. That'll get down for extra bases. That'll drive in Vlad. And that'll be a double for Alec Thomas. So maybe we won't see um, Doval in the ninth at this point. Luciano with a runner at second. He strikes out. Hunter Bailey. He hits it out to right. So we're going to go to the ninth with a four-run lead. Nick Pavetta comes in to close it out. That makes sense. Strikeout. Strikeout. Yeah, I, I felt like Pavetta was going to be a good get. I mean, it's obviously just two batters in. But ground ball to third. That gets underneath Luciano. It gives up a two-out single. And there's a strikeout. So Pavetta strikes out the side in the ninth. Not quite the way I wanted it to go down. I, you know, Webb obviously was really, really good. He should have been out, out there to finish it. But uh, four and two thirds out of Webb, two walks, four Ks. Howard struck out three and in two innings. Jackson and Rogers did their job. Then Pavetta came in and shut the door. Vlad in his Giants debut, three for four with an RBI. Velazquez one for four with a three run homer. So our two major acquisitions uh, in the offseason provided four hits and four RBIs. An RBI double from Thomas. Meckler was on base twice. So all in all, through one game, things went well. So let's go in here and make sure we change this before um, anything happens again. 
So we'll limit Boyd to 100 pitches just because he's young. We're going to save it. And I'm going to go ahead and sim now to the end of April. I'll come back and we will do May together. I'll be right back. All right. We are back on May 1st and we're in first place. We're 18 and 13. Um, there's been some good. There's been some not great, but there's been some good. We'll start with the with the offense. We always start with the offense. And Jung Hoo Lee having a really, really nice uh, sophomore campaign so far, hitting 340 on the air. Um, Babip's a little high, probably not going to maintain it, but uh, I'll take it for now. Dylan Carlson came back from injury. Yeah, I mean, offensively, we're, we're not we're not doing all that well. I mean, Carlson's doing okay. Um, that 360 on base percentage is nice. He's above average. Nick Ahmed has been above average with the bat. And then Marco Luciano has been above average with the bat. And that's been it. Uh, Estrada has been below average. Matos below average. Velazquez is below average. Vlad's been pretty bad, actually, which is concerning, um, given that he's a DH. And if we have a DH, you can't hit. That's a problem. So hopefully he snaps out of this. I mean, those ratings are too good against lefties, in my opinion, for it not to. But uh, we'll see how it goes. And now Thomas has been awful as well. So... Um, get some power out of Velasquez. guys. He's given us what we, we needed to I mean, 19 RBIs in 26 games. I mean, he's on pace to hit 206, but you know, 37 home runs, a hundred RBIs, negative war, which is a little weird. So, yeah, I mean, offensively we haven't been good, but it's being more than made up for by our pitching staff. Uh, Logan Webb in seven starts is two and one with a one seven, six, uh, just amazing. So far, Kyle Harrison in his six starts, as a sub one whip, a point nine seven whip on the year, three eleven fit. Matthew Boyd uh, has been a revelation. Um, signed him for one point nine million, and he's currently four and one with the two oh six. Robbie Ray has settled down, had a rough first couple of starts. Look at his game log. Uh, you have five runs in seven. And then, or five runs and three and a third, then three and four and two thirds, then one, one and zero. So he's only got up two earned runs in his last 14 and two thirds innings. So let's brought that ERA down. Still not a great pitcher, but doing better. Um, Keaton Wynn has only made five starts, but, you know, I'll take it. One and one, three, one, six. Doval, um, Babip is high, Fip is low. Yeah, so that 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 will come down. He's walking too many, but Colby Iard is another one. High uh, ERA, um, incredibly high, like obnoxiously high. Bab at four seventy three, uh, but a FIP of of three thirty. Uh, and the rest of the bullpen has been okay. Pavetta's numbers don't look great, um, but again, he's another one with a really high BABIP and and uh, uh, a low FIP. So I, I get the impression that those will even out over time. So we're getting it done. Um, with our pitching, not necessarily with our hitting. Let's take a look at the trade block. Um, not a lot going on here in the early going. Um, where am I going? <clears throat> the player I was most interested in was Rob Refsnyder. Um, again, another one of those u- utility type guys like... Uh, um, uh, like Otto Lopez or or yeah, Zach McKinstry or whatever, but just with a with a significantly better bat. Um, yeah, six, especially against lefties, sixty contact, fifty five gap, forty five power, sixty i, sixty five or or fifty avoid K. So much better bat against lefties. But the demand, especially given that he's out for the next three or four months, the demand is pretty absurd. Uh, if you look at what they're asking for in a one for one, that's pretty stupid. Um, I tried messing around with it a little bit, um, and couldn't get them to agree. Like if I offer Tristan back, um, you know, I could give them Ortega, but I, I'm that with that, that glove, I'm not prepared to do that. Um, Ramos, would that do it? No. Yeah. It just, I don't know. I mean, maybe we'll see what happens, get a little bit closer to the trade deadline and, and go from there. But, uh, um, I like the idea of ref Snyder. Um, adding to my team. And the other thing we may do is, is once we get closer is take a look at some of the teams that are at the bottom of their divisions. Like the Red Sox at 18 and 13 wouldn't trade Ref Snyder right now if we're, if we're being realistic about it. 
But we can look at teams like the Blue Jays, you know, who have some players that they might be willing to move on from, or you know, the Marlins are pretty bad, the White Sox, the Angels are terrible. Um, so there might be some players here that, uh, that, that we can we can take a run at that, that might help us down the road. Um, but yeah, we're just we're gonna kind of get to simming here and then uh, gonna go through the month together and uh, see how things go. So we got a game here against San Diego. We start off with a 10-9 loss. We got Colorado at home, a 7-6 loss. There's two losses in a row to start the month. Make it three. Not a great start here as Zapuki is ready to come back from injury, and I think we'll just put him on a rehab assignment for now. Not a great start. 0-3 this month. A game out of first place now. We just get swept by Colorado, and the offense is just getting worse. Offense is getting worse. Four straight losses. Now we're at the Cubs for three. There's a victory. 7-4. Get three hits, three RBIs from Luciano. Three hits and an RBI from Carlson, who has that average up to 323. Uh, Estrada, a couple of hits. Vlad's got three up to three home runs, which is good, but he's still only on pace for 14 home runs and 90 RBIs. Garrett gets the win. And then the game against the Cubs. 4-2 loss. Let's do it this way. Wow, one and six this month. We're going to fall under 500 here. We're not as we bounce back with a 9-3 win. Thankfully, the Blue Jays are awful. Uh, Matos goes four for four. Guerrero homers. Velazquez hits a grand slam. Boyd gets the win. We'll take a look at the team after the Toronto series and see if there are any changes. Yeah, I mean, this is just terrible. This is awful. Two and eight this month. Um, now let's start with pitching because we can make some changes there. Who's struggling? So Pavetta's actually been much better, I think, this month. Yeah, well, he's only pitched four innings, but um, Howard hasn't been particularly good. I don't know that. We're going to make a lot of changes. Robbie Ray has been... I mean, our, our pitching has been fine. Our pitching has not been a problem. We still have th uh, first starters... First and starters ERA. We're third and runs against. It's our offense. So, I think the Alec Thomas... I don't want to say experiment, but Alec Thomas is our starter is... I think we're done there. I think we're going to bring Dylan Carlson in as our starting right fielder. I mean, the ratings are still there. The ratings are still there. He's got the high work ethic, so I'm not ready to give up, give up. But um, yeah, Dylan Carlson has been our best hitter this year. Velasquez has his average up to 214. Vlad's up to 246. I don't know what we can really do here. Strata's at 289. Meckler is at 220. I mean, do we... wouldn't even know what to do. I wouldn't even know what to do against righties. Well, four and a half out. I mean, we're still, you know, still obviously plenty of time, but... Um, yeah, our offense is just awful. All right, so let's let's. Well, I guess we'll look at the trade block again, see if anything has changed. It's free agents. We got any free agents that can help us? Adam Duvall who can rake against lefty. Oh, Duvall's not bad. Sixty-five gap, sixty home run power. He's a good defensive outfielder, but I mean, where does he play? Right, where does he play? Because right now, Brandon Drury hit 21 home runs a year ago. He's got a solid bat against lefties. Hit 
36 home runs last year. What does he want for a contract? He wants $2 million. So maybe we send Alec down to the minors. Is that something that can happen? Yeah, it can. Maybe we send him to the minors. Let's talk to Adam Duvall. It's off from $2 million contract. Bring him in. Try to get his bat in the lineup a little. As far as pitchers go, I don't think there's anything we need to do here. Charlie Morton is still available. All right, let's move on. We got the Cubs at home. Oh, man. Oh, man. Two and ten this month. Signed Adam Duvall. Let's go ahead and stick him in the lineup. And then what do we do with him? Um, it's lefties. Let's just try something like this. The third game. Fourth game, every second game, get the ball out there. The ball here, every third game. Just sort of see how it goes, I guess. We'll get Carlson back in four days, okay. This is unbelievable. Finally have a victory. We win 12-3. Three. three for five. Five RBIs for Vlad. Matos, homers. Webb picks up the win. He's only got three wins on the year. Still have the best starters ERA in the National League. But the offense is just abysmal. Robbie Ray is just bad. Anybody take him, like if I retain 75%? David Fletcher sends a tele, Gavin Lux. That bat's not there. No. Now, what if we do this? I mean, if we go something like this and then back off. If we go down to 75. Okay, so we should be able to... Clear off some of this. We'll start with Matt Olson. That might be as far as we go. But if we go to 55%, Okay, so this improves our money by seven and a half million dollars this year, seven and a half million dollars next year. Actually, more than that next year. It'll improve our budget by about 11 million next year. Uh, we have no need for Goodrum, so I likely will. Well, he's a captain, though. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do, but this gets Ray's contract off the books. 
And we can go back to Mason Black, who hasn't been particularly good in AAA. But again, I don't put a lot of stock in the AAA numbers. Um, let's do that. Players appreciate the leadership of Nico Goodrum. Good. Um, we're going to leave him there for a week. And then... Pookie. I'm going to have to call him up here. So let's just call him up. Stick him in the rotation. Let's see how Zapuki does as a starter. Let's see if that helps us at all. So from a financial perspective, it helps us. We're up to $60 million next season in, uh, in potential um, uh, revenue. Um Again, doesn't there's not a lot available uh, potentially in, in free agency, but you know there might be an international guy that comes up or something. So I want to make sure our, we have some flexibility. We haven't had a two game winning streak in a month. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Four and 14 in the month of May. Wow. Meckler two hits. Luciano drives in a couple. Carlson drives in a couple. Boyd improves to six and three. Can we win two in a row? Hey, we do. Look at that. Two in a row. We're up 6-2 to two in this one. We get three RBIs from Duvall, who's driven in four so far in five games. He's got four doubles. I'll take that. And his ratings have plummeted. So he's not nearly as good defensively as, as he appeared to be. Uh, Bailey, couple hits, three RBIs. Webb improves to four and two. And we got Atlanta coming up. Here's a three-game win streak. Three RBIs from Marco. Velazquez hits his 10th. Carlson with another home run. Lad's got the average up to 256, so it's climbing. The war's positive. May's at 308. There we go. There we go. Win goes five. Gets the win. Win the win. Braves again. Another win. There we go. We gotta do something with Goodrum here, but that's four wins in a row after getting rid of Robbie Ray. Lee, couple hits, couple RBIs. Harrison's three and four. The ball that ERA is starting to drop a bit. We gotta do something about our catching situation. One catcher's hitting 188, the one other's hitting 183. Um I think it might be time to go back to Joey Bart and see what he can give us. We're going to go back to Joey Bart and see what he can give us offensively. He's got the 50 contact. He's a captain. I mean, the ratings aren't great. Maybe a little better against lefties, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so Duvall... We're going to back this off a little because he's not nearly as good. Actually, I think we're going to back it off here. It's not nearly as good as the ratings suggested, but I think against lefties, we're still okay. Meckler, he's just not hitting for any power. And I knew he wouldn't hit for a lot of extra bases, but he's got Five extra base hits and 131 plate appearances. Um, all right, so what do we want to do with Goodrum? Is it worth sending Otto down? I think it might be. Just leave Goodrum on the team because he's that, that veteran kind of guy, and we can just have him back up at second and third. Second and third. 
And Duvall will be that backup DH once every eight games or something. All right, let's finish off this month on a high note. We've got five games left. We sweep Atlanta, and we win our fifth straight game. We get three hits and an RBI from Velazquez. Matos goes yard. Two hits from Duvall. Zapuki gets the start, goes six and a third shutout. I'll take that. All right, so we're at Oakland for two, and then we finish the month at Philadelphia. There's a 2-1 loss, 3-2 win. Are you kidding? Boyd would like to stay, and I'm not against that. And then Duvall is already complaining. What does Boyd want to come back? Yeah, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I mean, for sure. And then Duvall is complaining. He's been with the team for a week, and he's complaining. Well, if you're going to complain... We're going to try to move you. Jeff McNeil in a ridiculous contract. Ursula. Oof. Not a lot of power, but good contact, good avoid K. It's a 50 power bat. Say Abreu? No. What if we package? Oh, there's just not much there right now. And the draft this year isn't particularly good. It's going to be a couple of years before we're able to uh, to really put anything together. I think. Alex Verdugo, who the game hates. Atlanta wants to trade a sale. Austin Hayes. I'm not really concerned about the financial implications. We have plenty of money, so I can take on a bad contract if it's not a long-term bad contract. And Luis Robert. 15 and 20. Again, it's an outfielder that I don't really need. Um, Ian Happ, really good bat, but again, where do I play him? Heimer Candelario, no. Chris Bryant, $26 million a year left for the next four. I mean, he would definitely give us uh, another, another solid bat, but not for that kind of money. Gabriel Arias, really good defensively. Doesn't have the bat necessarily, although he might not be a bad um, answer for um, for Nick Ahmed because Nick Ahmed's contract is up after this season. And the bat's still, I mean, he's still doing fine with the bat. Pretty good ratings against lefties. I didn't realize those were his ratings. What does he want to come back next year? Once three years at what about two years at one five? I mean, I'd be happy to bring him back as as our backup middle infielder. Okay. Um Josh Naylor. It's a lefty, though. I mean, good ratings against righties. First base. This contract does expire after this year? It does. $8.9 million. That's not a bad option. Um, Yaz is not hitting in Kansas City. Stroman, Trevino, Jose Quintana, Pete Alonzo, really. Game does not like Pete Alonzo. 
I would be fine taking on a bad contract if it was for like a year or two, like for this year and next. But I don't want to take on something that's like five years. Springer's got some pop. Still good defensively. It's 22.5 each of the next two years. No, I'm not crazy about that. Um, just for shits and giggles. Excuse me. Excuse the language. Does this change anything? Justin Jerstad. It sort of does. Andrew Vaughn. <clears throat> 55 contact. 50 guy. Yeah, I mean, he's 50s up and down the board. It's not terrible. I'm pretty shocked at the fall off here of Luis Robert, to be honest with you. Colors, Pena. Another really good defensive outfielder without and the bats, not bad. He, he, these are playing tricks on my eyes, you know, because of the color. Like this was 65 last year. Now it's 60. So they've added the extra layer of colorness, I guess, to, uh, to the ratings. But again, still no power. Burleson? No. That's a little disappointing, but it does tell me that uh, we'll just stick with Duval for now. We won't worry too much about it. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe Meckler isn't the answer. I mean, high leader, high work ethic. I mean, if he can, hit, I mean, the I mean, to be fair, the on base percentage is almost four is almost three seventy, which is leadoff hitter is fine, right? It's it's totally fine. So, I mean, maybe I shouldn't read too much into it. Let's let's just get through these two games against Philadelphia, and then we'll think about it again. Another extra innings win. It's time four to three. Jung Hoo Lee. It's his fifth home run of the year. Nick Ahmed drives in a couple. Vetta gets the win. He improves to five and zero out of the bullpen. And then the final game of the month of May is a three to two loss. All right, so we finish the month. Ten and sixteen, but considering we were four and fourteen at one point, I'll take a six and two finish any day of the week. We're seven and a half games out of first place. Uh, we are three and a half out of a wild card. Uh, offensively, we're twelfth. Our pitching staff is first. We just there's nothing we need to do with our pitching staff. Our pitching staff is completely fine um, to the point where we're going to need to use some of the assets we have in AAA and in the minors to try to improve that offense. So we called Joey Bart up. He's not hitting. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Hartle gets better. The control improves. He's still a 45, but 45, 50, 65. The, the uh, stats are starting to improve there. And it looks like just a, a lot of young guys. Batter of the Month, Aaron Judge in the National League, Brett Beatty. Pitcher of the Month in the AL, Tyre Holton. Nestor Cortez in the NL. Rookie of the Month in the AL, Cole Young. Brady House in the NL. So we're a game under 500. Uh, Lineups-wise, Jung Hoo Lee still up at the top, 1.4 war. Same with Dylan Carlson. It's been a nice uh, a nice find for us. He's doing a nice job. Goodrum, only five at-bats for us. Luis Matos hitting 283. 
Um, looking at some of the BABIPs as well. Luciano's only hitting 210, um, but only a 205 BAB, or 265 BABIP, which tells me at some point that should start to even out. Vlad's back down under uh, a negative. He's down into the, the negative war category again. Velazquez is even. So, yeah, we just we have no power. We have absolutely no power. Uh, pitching wise, I mean, you just you won't complain about this, right? Harrison, Webb, and Boyd have been just electric as our one, two, three. Um, we just have no issues with our pitching staff. Um, Hayden Birdsong is okay. Mason Black has not been good. What if we did something like this? We have most of the same names, it appears. I mean, Naylor's probably the best option of the bunch. But I don't want to pay him. He's going to want... He's really good. I mean, that, that does solid. That's a really good bat against righties. 60 contact. 55 gap, 55 power, 45 I, 70 avoid K. I just don't want to not, I just, I, I wish I knew what he wanted in a as, a, as a contract demand. Grisham, no thank you. Alonzo, no thank you. Trade block changed at all? Just going to the wrong page. Not particularly. I mean, if we start with... All right, so that doesn't really make it happen at all. Problem is, if I get Naylor, who does he replace in the lineup? Against righties... And I guess it would be Velasquez against righties, right? And then against lefties, we can sort of figure it out. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Um, all right, so they'll accept this. Can I get anything out of it, though? Yeah, this was the name I was looking for, but that's not going to happen. Um, Mailer. He's not really hitting either, but okay, never mind. I mean, I should have known that wasn't going to work, but I had to at least ask. What about Manzardo? Because he's a lefty as well. Would you give me Manzardo? Okay, so we can make this work. I wouldn't mind picking up Manzardo and then platooning him with Velasquez at first. Those are pretty good ratings against lefties, or against righties, rather. Um, what do we give up? That doesn't change it at all. Do I have anything that's going to really... 
flip this. Wiz and Hunt, I don't... Yeah, see, I'm not willing to give up, like, Wiz and Hunt in black for a potential rental. Because I don't know... Well, I guess it's not a potential rental because I'm also getting Manzardo in the deal. But I'm not comfortable giving up both of them. That's that's sort of the thing. 50, 55, 50. And then Wiz and Hunt is 55, 55, 45. And I give you one of the two, but not both... All right, so now we're getting somewhere. We add Warren in there, take out Wiz and Hunt. We're not really getting anywhere now. So what about... Samir Garrett. Carlson Doval Estrada. Fitzgerald. And the other one was Adams, right? Or Warren. All right, so I'm going to have to give up one of them. So let's give up Wiz and Hunt. Fitzgerald's 27. Let's remove him. Let's see how much of it I can get them to retain. All right, so I think we're going to pull the trigger on this. So we just picked up Adam Duvall, which, you know, he's already complaining, so we're going to move on from him. Move Adam Duvall, Tristan Beck, who's a 28-year-old um, ground ball pitcher. Uh, he's pitching pretty well in AAA this year, but he's already 28. Uh, Austin Warren, who I don't really care about. And then Carson Wisenhunt, who's the one real, I guess, prospect in this. Um, and in, in exchange, we're going to get Josh Naylor and Kyle Manzardo. I don't know that either of these guys are going to kind of turn things around for us, but that gives us a couple of solid bats to go into our lineup, and we're going to pull the trigger, and that's going to be that deal. All right, so um, Goodrum goes down to AAA, Manzardo and Naylor come up against righties, Manzardo, uh, ooh, how do we want to do this? So Manzardo. They're both lefties, right? How do we want to do this? So I think Manzardo goes in at first. Velasquez will back him up every fourth game. Naylor's going to play every second game in left. And I don't have anybody to back up on the infield. Uh, <laughs> I didn't plan this out. That's all right. We'll figure it out. We got three first basemen on our roster. Uh, Luciano Meckler. One of these guys has to go to the minors. I think it's got to be Meckler for now. As crazy as that sounds, I think it has to be Meckler for now. And get Otto back up. All right, so what does this do to our lineup? So now, is it Dylan Carlson our leadoff hitter? 55 contact, 55 IA. Dylan Carlson will be our leadoff hitter against righties. And we're missing a left fielder, so that'll be Naylor. All right, so Carlson, Lee, Guerrero, Manzardo, Luciano, Naylor, Bart, Estrada, Ahmed, and then against lefties. Let's get Otto Lopez back in there. Oops. That's Motto starting every second game. We'll start him every third game. We'll start him every seventh game there. Naylor will start every sixth game there. No, wait. Matos is my backup outfielder. There we go. And then against lefties. Lopez at second and third. And 
and who's not out there. Yeah, and I think we're okay with that. So that's going to be our lineup going forward. Um, Carlson, Lee, Guerrero, Manzardo, Luciano, Naylor, Bart, Estrada, Ahmed. Um, I think it's better. Uh, definitely better against righties, adding Manzardo and Naylor in there. Uh, we'll see if it translates. I'm not entirely sure it will, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We made the improvements without affecting our big league roster at all. Um, we still have plenty of money this year to spend uh, when we get to the trade deadline if we want to. Uh, upcoming free agents next season. Yeah, I mean, it's not great. There's some Obviously, there's some pitching options here. Dylan C., Zach Eflin. Uh, Savali, Canning, uh, you know, so there are some, some start. Michael King is, is not a bad option as well. There are definitely some starting pitching options. If we want to go that route, still not a lot going on here. Defensive or not a whole lot going on from a, uh, um, offensive perspective. I'm kind of putting my eggs in the, um, in the, uh, international, uh, hope I'm hoping there's an international amateur that pops up, but, but we can, we can make it work. So. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. So offline, I'm going to go ahead and sim up to July 1st. In the next episode, we'll come back and we'll do uh, the draft and the deadline. So let me know what you think of the deals we made. We moved on from Robbie Ray. We bring in Kyle Manzardo and Josh Naylor. So let me know your thoughts, guys. I appreciate you watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.